in this class we will discuss a historical overview of the new iranian cinema new iranian cinema in the contemporary world of films are acknowledged by film critics and film scholars the great masters like abbas kiarostami mohsen magbalbap majid majidi behram beizai samira magbalbap jafar panahi bahman gobadi coming from new iranian cinema new iranian cinema apparently is very much influenced by italian neorealism like italian neorealist films the filmmakers of new iranian cinema made their films where they address the everyday reality lived by the ordinary people in relation to the theme new iranian cinema tries to address the issues related to modernity in iran particularly the issues of democracy and citizens life are addressed in their films in iran we know that women are discriminated their rights are curtailed by the religious authorities and governments in relation to theme new iranian cinema concentrates on the exposition of modern citizen life and they also are addressing the desire of iranian people for democracy as far as democracy is concerned the half of the iranian society that is the women are absolutely discriminated by the government and religious authority for a long time for a long time in history iranian women have been struggling for their rights and we find the iranian cinema most many iranian filmmakers in their films they stand by the side of women's movement the films of jafar panahi the films of samira magbalbaf the films of rakshan bani etemad are good examples to an extent iranian cinema is also inspired by french new wave cinema like french new wave films they actually give primacy to the description of reality over the narrative telling also new iranian cinema learned uh, the aspect of self reflexivity from french nouvelle vague but at the end of the day the critics and scholars must acknowledge that new iranian cinema brought something new in the world of cinema which is appreciated by global audience as a fresh air in the world of cinema actually new iranian cinema historically came into being in the middle of 1980s in 1985 amir naderi released his film the runner in 1986 we find uh, another great master of iranian cinema behram baizai released his film basu the stranger in 1987 abbas kiarostami's film where is the friend song
in the same year mohsen magbalbap released his film the cyclist which is also uh, a great contribution to iranian cinema later in 1990s iranian cinema became a champion player appeared as a champ emerged as a champion player in world cinema majid majid is baduk in 1992 bani etemad nargis in 1991 jafar panahis the white balloon in 1995 later in late 1990s another generation of uh, new iranian cinema filmmaker uh, appeared uh, like samira magbalbaf like bauman gobadi and also tahmina milani samira magbalbaf's first film the apple was made in 1998 bauman gobadi's uh, first feature film a time for drunken horses tahmina milani's first feature film came into being in 1999 these films are also acclaimed all over the world mahdi mahdi khabar hai chani as far as the history of new iranian cinema is concerned we must trace back the origin of this uh, uh, excellent kind of cinema though it came into being as a movement in the form of movement in mid 1919 and mid 1980s but the source of this cinema inspiration of this cinema lies in 1970s uh, new wave iranian cinema movement new wave in iranian cinema actually in 1969 darius mehrzui's film the gav that means the cow was released the film was immediately banned for exhibition in the country but in berlin film festival mehrzui's the cow or gav was very much acclaimed by film critics so it is the beginning of serious cinema in iran before that cinema was there in iran there was a film industry also in iran since 1920s but uh, most of the films made by iranian cinema uh, were the poor imitation of hollywood cinema and indian cinema the dominant genre of iranian cinema in those decades were folklore later after darius mehrzui's film we find uh, other iranian filmmakers came to make films in early 1970s uh, for example abbas kirastami who later emerged as a great master of new iranian cinema not only new iranian cinema uh, one of the greatest filmmakers of world cinema today abbas kirastami started his film making in 1970s in 1972 he made his first feature film musafir or the traveler not only abbas kirastami baharam baize also started his career in that time he made his first feature film thunder shower 
was widely acclaimed in Iran and outside Iran. Another filmmaker of that time was Saurabh Sahid Salas. Salas made a film in 1975 known as Still Life. He tried to address the existential crisis of human life. In his film Still Life, he shows the life of a railway gate man in a lazy station. The slow exposition of his life actually leads to a sense of alienation in Salas's film. The school for uh, learning filmmaking was established in 1969 and 70. The Ministry of Culture and Arts actually was there to uh, produce good films. They took measure to produce good films. We already mentioned Darius Mehrzui's film The Cow. The Cow was the first important production of Ministry of Culture and Arts. Also, the postman of Darius Mehrzui in 1970 and Behram Baizai's Thunder Shower 1970 was produced by Ministry of Culture and Arts. Another state-run organization at that time was started, which is known as Institute for Intellectual Development of Children and Young Adult. This organization started uh, giving money to make film for the development of children. You know, the first film of Abbas Kiarostami, which was Musafir or Traveller. This film also actually produced by this Institute for Intellectual Development of Children and Young Adult. Uh, another important film produced by them in this era was Amir Nader's Harmo Harmonica and Baharam Baizai's The Uncle with Mustache. But not only government initiatives, Iranian filmmakers started uh, their own initiative in this time. Cinema e Azad was established by independent filmmakers. Cinema e Azad means free cinema, you know. It was established by independent filmmakers who were practicing uh, filmmaking with Super 8 formats. Even Cinema e Azad organized the first international film festival in Iran and uh, since 1970 they uh, uh, have been organizing their film festivals. And uh, uh, in 1970s film festival the Iranian filmmakers uh, came to be introduced with the development of world cinema. This actually helped Iranian filmmakers to develop their film language uh, to a great extent. But very soon, from the middle of 1970s, the clash between Shah and the revolutionary forces intensified. In 1978, 19th August, a very unfortunate and sad incident took place in the history of the cinema of Iran. That Rex cinema, which was situated in Abadan, in a province of Iran, was set ablaze. 477 people burned alive. So, Shah immediately blamed the revolutionaries. His government declared, announced that uh, uh, the revolutionaries burned the cinema hall. But later, the investigation showed that actually it was burned by uh, Shah's secret police, Savak. 
एनीवे 1978 19th August is a black day black year for Iranian cinema because 80 percent of the film um, imported and indigenous were banned in that time 180 film theaters were closed by Shah government then came an important moment of Iranian history in 1979 a new era started in the leadership of Ayatollah Khomeini in Iran. In the primary few years, 1980 to 85, Ayatollah Khomeini took some important measures to take Iranian cinema out from political censorship, to uh, fund young filmmakers to make films. But later the situation deteriorated again. Among the measures taken by Khomeini government to develop Iranian cinema, good quality Iranian cinema. One such th uh, organization was Farbi Cinema Foundation established in 1993. It is a straight run organization which helps filmmakers for, for the promotion, in the promotion of and circulation of, the, of their films. Often they also helps filmmakers to get uh, uh, funding from the state or to uh, get funding from foreign organizations too. In 1984, Khomeini government established another organization which is known as Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance. Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance appealed to the filmmakers to make modern films keeping the Islamic values without disturbing the Islamic values. Uh, the filmmakers by themselves also took a great initiative in the time of 1983 to 1986. This time is known as consolidation years in Iranian cinema. Iranian filmmakers who were dispersed in the late 1980s uh, on the face of Shah's oppressive regime, they came closer to each other and they formed a inform an informal group which is known as consolidation. And they later tried to achieve the state funding and other fundings and they made their films. So all these initiatives of 1980s finally yielded a group of filmmakers. Among the veteran filmmakers uh, experienced there were Amin Naderi, Darius Mahesui, Abbas Kiarostami, Baharam Baizai and among new filmmakers we find Mohsen Magbalbaf, Majid Majidi and later Jafar Panahi and Samida Makbalba. So finally from 1985 to that time till date Iranian new cinema actually uh, mesmerizes the audience all over the world. So this is uh, all for today's class. We will discuss the other issues related to Iranian cinema in next two classes.